Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Who's in here already? Michael, Caitlin, Jimmy, Anthony, Calvin, Carl, Nelson, Sandra, Amanda, Megan. So many people waiting tonight. Hello. I hope everybody is having a fantastic Sunday and had a great weekend. Let me minimize that. Hello, oh, I can hear myself. <laughs> Let's not do that. Hello, hello everyone. Everyone's pouring in right now. Okay, so I sure it's Dylan, Nick, Christopher, Emmanuel, Garrett, Darren, The Nightmare, Stuart, Acid Rain, Brianna Madison, Iron or Iron Mason Super. Luke, George, Ben, Asher, Anthony. Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome. Uh, can you know, actually, Asher, that would be really good. Banana muffins with chocolate frosting. That will probably be pretty good. Unfortunately, I do not have chocolate frosting though. But I do have chocolate chips. I might add some to um, a couple of them on the top before I throw them in. I was thinking about that. Hello. Uh, Manuel, Cyrus the Virus, Dark Gothic, Cassandra, uh, Juggernaut, Vampire Miranda, John Wayne, Jay, Stealth Games. I need to turn my brightness up because I can't. There we go. Vasquez Vlogs. Carla, hello. Carl Sheen and Luigi fan. Hi. Banana Muffins. Yes, I'm super excited. Love. I've never... I've only had like banana bread. It's pretty much the same thing though. Um, I've, I've just never made them in muffin form, so that's what we're doing tonight. And tonight is a little bit different. Tonight is not going to be homemade. Um, but I will tell you in a second what we're doing. Victorian sponges last year. What? You made those? That's so cool. Yes, happy Sunday to you also, Dory. I hope everybody had a great, relaxing, chill Sunday. Why is this moving? Sometimes it just wants to move. Even though the wheels are locked, sometimes it just wants to move on its own. I think I'm leaning too much on it. Mm -mm -mm. Garrett, hello. I'm just here to pop in to say hi. I gotta go for my peace test soon. Oh! Your driver's test? Well, good luck! Good luck. Everybody here wish Iron Mason Super good luck on his driving test. Mm -mm. Banana muffins are delicious. They are, and I'm pretty excited about these. Um, had a great day. Went to church. So nice. Jess and I went to the park today and walked Mason around. He got his exercise in. So that, that was what we did today. And then I came back and got a shower and got ready for the stream. I'm going to pull this up a little bit closer. Where's your apron? My, my apron is actually in Pennsylvania. So the next time I go there, um, I'll try and remember to bring that back. Because it is nice to have on, not on every um, recipe, but on some of them. Some of them do get a little messy and I do get stuff on my shirt. So... I will try and remember to bring them back or bring it back. I think it's like hot pink too. And I think it's, it might say something on the front. I forget, but I do remember it's there. You had a headache for most of the day, but you're all right now. Oh, Jason, I'm so sorry to hear, but I'm glad you're feeling better. I hate that. I hate when just a headache just ruins your whole day. I've had so many days like that. It's not fun. I hate headaches. Headaches are literally the worst. You feel like you can't even like be social you just don't want to even look at anything bright you just want to lay down and just do nothing until it goes away i know the feeling i actually had one um a few days ago 
And then um, I try, I've been trying to like lean back on taking medicine, but there are times when I'm like, no, like I can't go another hour. I need medicine to help me. So I'll take some medicine and, and uh, drink your water too. Make sure you drink your water if you have a headache. Oh, I love everyone encouraging and saying good luck on his driving test. Yes, good luck. Jesse is upstairs right now. But maybe he'll try these banana muffins if they're good. Oh, you went to the park today too, Carla? That's awesome. Um, Cassandra, I did hear about that. That was so that is so sad and tragic. So sad. My thoughts are to um, the Stewart family and just everybody involved. So sad. Um, I wish I could get a pet boy puppy dog. <gasps> Ooh, maybe. I love puppies. They're my favorites. Did you did I see your Instagram message? I probably didn't. Um there's like just so many tabs in the Instagram messages. There's like four or five different tabs and then there's like hidden messages. So like I don't know which tab if you guys message me whatever it's in, but um but I can I can check after the stream though. Um do you have better luck? with Twitter because the Twitter DMs it's only like two folders but for for whatever reason Instagram has like five folders it's a little a little excessive your birthday's next week or happy almost birthday Luke I oh, know my birthday's coming up too uh, mint banana pie I've never heard of that you've had it Hi, Crystal. Hi, Christian. I'm directing a Cinderella play in my drama school. That's so cool, Garrett. Good luck. Good luck. That's awesome. That sounds so fun. Banana cream mousse today? Stop. You might have to send me that recipe because I just, I love anything banana. Anything banana. I love it. And I think Jess does too. So that that is something I think Jess would really like. Banana cream mousse. I've never heard of a mousse one. You might have to send that my way. If it's if it's good. You'll sleep the whole day now. <laughs> Manny, no. Well, I didn't at least, but that that was a late that was the latest blackjack stream. That went till it was like what was it? After 1.30? That was insane. That was insane. They had two back-to-back -back just like crazy blackjack streams. But it was so fun. It was fun. And I'm I'm happy that and Jackie won. Okay, let's get this recipe started. Oh, oh no. Guys, I have the hiccups. I just hiccuped. I had the hiccups earlier, and usually that means if I get it once in a day, I'll have it like throughout the day on and off. And I just had a hiccup when I drank this water. Hopefully, hopefully it stay it or goes away. I don't feel it coming back yet. Oh, guys, does that happen to anybody else? If you get the hiccups once in a day. You'll have it on and off throughout the whole day. Cause that that was that that's me. But the past I will say the past couple times I've gotten a hiccup so they they've only been once and done. So maybe I should just not I feel like when I when the more I drink water, the more I'll like start to hiccup. <laughs> so I won't drink yeah, I had one. <laughs> but I also just had it like an hour and a half ago and I was like, no, <laughs> Oh gosh, can you make banana cream pie with whipped cream? Uh, Vampire Miranda, that is definitely in my lineup. I, I have made it before, though. I did make banana cream pie. I think I made it on stream. Did I make it on stream? 
I think I made it for um, Jess's birthday in September. I'm not sure if I made it on stream, though. I know I tweeted a video of us eating it. Um, but I don't remember if I filmed the process of it. But I'm always down to make and eat banana cream pie. So, I might make that again. I can, I can make some banana cream pie for myself for my birthday. Maybe coming up. Okay, I think the hiccups have sus have subsided. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it has happened to other people. Okay, so it's not just me because I've never heard of anyone else having this issue <laughs> with hiccups. Okay, so, okay, so yes, tonight we are making banana muffins, but instead of making them from, like, scratch, I am making them from a box, but... This is a Simple Mills brand. If you guys have ever seen this brand, they have other snacks. They have they have um they have chocolate chip cookies that are already made. Uh, chocolate chip cookies. They have like little brownie crisp squares. They have cinnamon ones. They have they they have a bunch of like they have a big line of just different desserts or snacks. Um, I haven't tried their. They do have like cheese crackers or something. I haven't tried those yet. But I, everything so far that I've eaten from this brand, I love it. I especially love their chocolate chip cookies and their cinnamon and brownie squares. They're like, they're more like a crisp and they're like triangle kind of shaped, I forget. Or like diamond shaped, I forget. Um, but they're very good. Um, and I'm like, I'm currently obsessed with them. So... We, I did see that they have banana, muffin, and bread mix. So I kind of wanted to try this. Uh, this yeah, th once again, this is Simple Mills brand. And it's called that because the ingredients are very, like, clean ingredients. So there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ingredients in this box. Where usually when you buy any type of mix or um, cake mix or anything like that, there's, like, a whole, like, the ingredient list is, like, this long. And it's always filled with preservatives and just like bad stuff. Uh, but this one has, it says almond flour, banana, organic coconut sugar, arrowroot, organic coconut flour, baking soda, organic cinnamon, and sea salt. That is all that is in this box. So I, I love this brand. I love, um, I just love everything about it. Corn free, grain free, paleo friendly, plant based, organic. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong. Only purposeful ingredients, nothing artificial ever. I love that. So, because I love all of their other stuff, I think this is going to be really good. This brand is a little bit pricier than other things, but it is because of, you know, the clean ingredients and the organic and good ingredients that are in here no preservatives so sometimes it is worth splurging just a little bit um for putting better things in your body so i'm pretty excited i'm excited for this stuff and i did have a banana um so i might just like mash up a banana and put it in the mix too just to give it some more flavor um, but not only flavor, but I do like, anytime like I eat anything banana, I do like, um, or even like banana bread, I do like to put like chunks of banana in it. Um, that's like my favorite. So I might just chop up that banana and throw it in here also. Hope it doesn't like mess it up too much, but I think it'll be fine. Can you bake a three layer rainbow cake? That sounds cool. I'm down for anything. That sounds fun. Um, mm -mm. Uh, mint chocolate chip. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Has anybody ever had anything from this brand before? I'll put it right here. So good. Mm -mm -mm. I think I will eventually do chocolate chip muffins, too. Um... I think this brand even does have chocolate chip muffins. I think it was like double chocolate muffins with chocolate chips or something in them. I forget. Um, but I have high hopes for this one. So if this one's good, I'm gonna try out all the or all of the other ones. It says you also love our cookies, bars, crackers, 
Um, I'm pretty sure they do sell this in like, cause we got this at um, Whole Foods, but I'm pretty sure they do sell this brand at other stores. I've seen, I've seen their snacks in regular, you know, grocery stores. So let me get this oven preheated actually at 350. So this only calls for three eggs, a half cup of water, and one third cup oil. All it needs. And it looks so good. It look it's it's not just like white powder. Like it's like you can see the cinnamon throughout. I can actually already smell it. And it has almond flour. Can you make a banana bread like in Starbucks? Oh, Starbucks has great banana bread. I would love to. I'd have to like look up. I do, I do know that I read somewhere um, that there's a brand of banana bread. I think it's at, or is it, no, it's their lemon bread. They sell that same brand at Walmart but it's under a different name. You, you'll have to look it up, I don't remember, but if you like their breads, they sell the same brand, but obviously like Starbucks doesn't put the brand, like obviously it's just like Starbucks, but that, that same company that makes those makes them um, in like little packages that they sell at Walmart. I haven't tried it yet though, but um, it was like a big thing on TikTok that a lot of people were talking about, uh, it was like a year or two ago. Um, so like everybody was like running to Walmart to go buy it because it was like more than or less than half the price of what they pay for a slice at Starbucks. It was so much cheaper. <laughs> Drinking my water slowly. Um, chocolate chip muffin pancake. What? I don't think you make pancakes into muffins. Have you thought about ever making an apple cake? Sure. Sure. I've always thought about making apple, um, what was it? Apple donuts. I've, apple cider donuts. Okay, where's my bowl? Oh, yeah, I got, guys, I got new things. You notice these? These two back here, this is my flour and my sugar. I got these containers at uh, the Dollar General. This one was $10, this one was 8 bucks. Look how cute and displayed, and it's so much easier because before when they were in the bags like the bag would always rip and i'd always get it all over the place but this is so much easier to lift open and put your little measuring cup in and it doesn't go everywhere so i got those and i also this week i got these if you guys look back at on uh justice channel from christmas time from our christmas exchange i think it was like one of the first gifts i opened were these little jars for my baking stream so um they have like stickers that come with it and it said this one's ginger this one's cinnamon sugar so i just went through the list of like everything and all of the um the spices and things that i already have and i just poured them in here and then i put their stickers on them and it's so much easier when i go to um it's so much easier and it's just like the aesthetic of it looks so much nicer um, but yeah, it's just, it makes, makes life easier to get them out of here rather than out of like a lot of the times when they come in the regular shakers, I have to like peel off the, uh, the top. Um, I don't even know like what the terms are called, but the top of the, uh, the shaker and then put my, you know, teaspoon or whatever in. So this is so much easier and nicer and I love it. I think they're so cute. So I did that this week too. But I did get this bowl, and then I got two other ones that are smaller than this. Um, I got this the other day in the mail, but I feel like I do, because I, I couldn't tell from online, but I definitely do have to get, like, another bowl like this, but, like, bigger. Uh, but for right now, what I'm making, this will do. Oh, I think I have to, wait, I didn't even read. I just started opening. It says, whisk. Eggs, water, and oil in a large bowl. I think my whisk is over here. Yeah. Let me grab my eggs out of the fridge. And I got my oil. 
have to whisk all of this first and then it says add the baking mix. I was getting a little ahead of myself. This is supposed to make 12 muffins. And so I have a 12, 12 muffin pan. Yes, we are in the Richard House basement. I'm using that kitchen right now. Yes, I'm mixing white and brown eggs. <laughs> I don't know, I only have, I had one white egg left, so just using it in this recipe and then I got two brown. Okay, this is trash now. Let me rinse my hands real fast. Oh, and I also got new rags, like this one. A little kitchen rag right here, a black one. And it came with a black and white one. So, I wanted to get stuff that like matched down here. I need one third cup. It's an eighth. Where's my third? And I, oh, I forgot too. I also got more measuring cups. Um, I had one set of these cups and the, um, the matching tablespoons and teaspoons. Um, but I felt like, like, you know, a lot of the recipes I had to keep rewashing them to use them again. So, um, I just got a second set of the same ones. So, makes life easier. So, I got a lot of new things this week for the streams. A lot of, there's like, stuff on it. Even though I washed them. But, yeah, so a lot of new stuff for the streams this week. So, moving forward, like, everything should be pretty smooth. This is vegetable oil. I haven't used any oils in any of these recipes in like a long time. Come on. There we go. It's like stuck to it. One third cup. And then a half cup of water. Uh, half cup water. Now just whisk all of this together. This is still dry. So dry it off, throw it back in. Just water. Whisk all this together. I like using um, glass bowls now that you can see through them. Kind of see what everything looks like now. I'll just have to remind myself to go online and just get like a bigger one, like this. Um, do you make chocolate brownie muffins? I've never made those before. I have not. Little Caesars pizza is good. I haven't had Little Caesars pizza since like high school, I feel like. My friend and I used to always go there because it was just cheaper. And it was pretty good. At that time. Mm, what is a grasshopper pie? What is that? Dark Gothic Angel, thank you so much. Yes, smash that like button, people. If you guys are in here and you guys are watching, make sure you smash the like button. And if you want to become a member, you can go on my channel and click join. You can pick whatever tier you like. You can become a member of my channel and use cool um, little emotes and stuff like that. You can grab these. Papa John's. Papa John's, I remember, was pretty good, too. I like their, um, their little garlic sauce they give you with the pizza. Oh, I love garlic. All right, and now just throwing this in there. I can just tell by what the mix looks like that this is gonna be really good. And it just looks like more natural and healthier because I can actually see the ingredients in it rather than just like a lot of this stuff is just like white powder. Everything's just white. But this, there's no artificial colors. I could really smell the banana in it. Um, yeah, I can really see the coconut flour in it, the coconut sugar, and the cinnamon. Because it's got, like, speckles of brown. 
Let's stir this up a bit. I'm trying to go a little slow so it doesn't spill over. I don't know. Should I still put the banana in here? I don't know. Because it... The banana, like, smell is pretty prominent. My favorite muffins usually are um, blueberry muffins. But... Um, that's because a lot of places don't really, like, have banana. And then most of the time when they do, it's banana nut. Um, I'd rather not have nuts in my muffins, but usually, usually it's banana or blueberry are my favorite. Apple fritters? Yes, I have heard of apple fritters before. Yes, they're very good. Keto diet works, so I cut out sugars. Yes, the keto diet. I got, um, because a lot of the keto diet is, like, cutting out the sugars and stuff like that so um i try and well when i am looking up recipes you know it is nice to look up keto stuff um because they use a lot of like coconut sugars or alternative sugars stuff like that um but the keto diet i have heard like a lot of people um that works for them Are there cheese sticks from Papa John's? I've never had their cheese sticks. I don't think. I think I've only had Papa John's like twice. And each time I was like, oh my god, this is the best pizza. Oh, I've never had key lime pie. But I was um, interested in making it. The dogs are upstairs right now. I just fed them uh, their dinner. And now they're just like chilling. Uh, chilling upstairs for right now. Okay, I don't know if I should put the banana in. I feel like I feel like I want to. I want to. Let me let me actually try this. Wow, that does have a lot of banana flavor in it already. Dang, that's pretty good. That is some like pretty good mix. But I think I will put some banana in here. Because I love banana chunks. Um, what should I do? What should I do? Maybe put it in a bowl. I don't think I I'll have to use this whole banana. Let me just try half first. And then I will grab a fork. I never did think about mixing blueberries and bananas together. It'd probably be really good. Blackberry cobbler. I don't think I've ever had like a cobbler of any kind. Or like a... Have you guys ever had Banana Foster? Anything Banana Foster. So good. So, so good. All right, I'm just gonna like lightly mash this. Because I also don't wanna add too much moisture uh, to this mix already because it might um, like just mess some things up. So I don't wanna cause like an imbalance. So, I think just half of this banana will be good. Sometimes just adding too much moisture to something um, can mess up, you know, like, it already has the prepared, you know, baking soda and everything in it, so it might, like, offset that and then it might not um, allow the muffins to rise as much, so... You always have to be careful when adding things to a mix. But I think this should be okay. Because it's only a little bit. See, I'm only doing that much. I'm just going to add it right in. Hello, Bree. I'm glad you made it. I hope your day at work was great. 
Okay. Oh yeah. I think that's plenty. Just kind of give it a quick stir. Throw that back there. I might just eat that banana. <laughs> and then grab my pan and my liners right here. Perfect amount of banana chunk in there. Oh, Xander used the little mason emoji. I love when people use the emojis. I think they're so fun. I feel like we haven't like used them enough. Little mason emoji. Oh, he's my favorite. Do you like vegan meals? Yeah, 100%. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I don't think I have, oh, I don't have my little, I have like a little ice cream scoop, but I think that's upstairs. So instead, I will use a little measuring cup, I guess, to um, dip out this mix. I think I'm only supposed to 50, or wait, um, spoon batter evenly into 12 lightly greased or paper lined muffin cups. Okay, it doesn't say like halfway or anything, it just says equal, so we'll just go with that. Oh, yes, Brie. All the puppies. <laughs> Hi, smelly hot dog. I saw you in the stream last night. Who in here was in last night's stream? Look how fun these are. I got them uh, on sale at the store a few weeks ago. Sometimes when, when I'm like shopping or whatever for baking stream stuff, when I see stuff um, on sale, I'll just pick it up because you never know when I'm going to need it. And this was one of the cases. I bought this a few weeks ago. There was on sale and now here I am using it. It smells like I keep getting a whiff of, um, stink bug down here. I guess it smells weird. It smells like stink bug, but I don't see any. I don't know. Dana, you were out there? You were in it? Michael was there, Xander was there. John Wayne was there, Devin. Oh, a lot of people. Hi, Ryan. Watch full seven hours, dude. You're the bomb, because seven hours of blackjack, whoo. Guys, I was getting, I don't know if you noticed, I was getting tired. Like the last like 45 minutes, like hour, I was struggling to hang on. I was really tired. I think this might be too big. Let me get a smaller one. I'll use an eighth cup one. But I did not expect it to go on that long. That was, that was a fight. <laughs> it reminded me of Terry and I's um, time, the stream before. It's insane. All right, that might be too much. I don't know. It didn't say how high to to put these. There might be a stick or a stink bug down here. I feel like there is somewhere. I just don't know where he's at, but I can definitely smell him. I don't know. Maybe if someone was down here earlier and like killed one or something, but it smells like it. <laughs> Do I have a nephew or a niece? I have one niece. A brand new niece. <laughs> okay. Dory, yes, that, especially like, yeah, seven hours that is draining, especially when you are in it for seven hours, you know, like um, between Jackie and Yeggs like stress levels get high at you know towards the end and you're just pretty much going on full adrenaline <laughs> Ryan we're making banana muffins welcome Michael Jackson is still alive I don't think so is that one of those conspiracy things I think 
is doing pretty good. With how much is left in here. Yeah, George, and I think somebody might have done that earlier. Thanks, Joe. I think it's going to taste pretty good, too. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, we got four left. Let's see how this evens out here. I love the little banana chunks. I think it was the perfect amount to do half of a banana. Thank you, Caitlin. I think they look yummy too. Was it Caitlin or? Yeah, Caitlin, not Caitlin. Oh no, I think I might have poured too much because now this is only making 11. <laughs> oh no, I might have to take some out of a couple. Scrape this bowl, see what I can get out of it. Okay. I don't know which one I'm gonna steal from because they're all the same. If anything, this one needed a little bit more. Yeah, I might have to steal some from other cupcakes or other muffins. Actually, let me grab, let me get everything that's off of this. There's a, quite a bit on here. Okay. And then this is when this little guy comes in handy. Scrape the bowl real well. Get all of the mix. in there. Come on. Don't you hate when this happens? I need all the mix. <laughs> I'd say make 11, I know. But it's really gonna bother my OCD if there's 11 here. <laughs> that would really bother me. Oh, I think we might make it work. I just scraped a lot out of that bowl right now. Let me use this fork. Yeah, this might work. Try and scrape a little bit more. Oh, I'm using this backwards. Come on. Every little bit helps. I think we did it, guys. We made 12! <laughs> um, it's a little bit there. Let me see, maybe I can get like a little bit here. Mm, dang, they all look pretty even. Let me take a little bit here. Maybe just a little bit from each, you know? Fix it up a little bit. Yes! We did it! All right, that looks pretty good. We did it, guys. <laughs> All right, let me throw this over here. Break down these edges here. Got a little messy at one point. Right there. Okay, and I usually like to shake them up a little bit, flatten them out. Bang it a little bit, get some air bubbles out, and then I am tossing it in. It says for 15 to 20 minutes, I'm probably going to set the timer to uh, maybe 12 or 13 minutes because this oven is fast. Throw it in there. Good luck. <laughs> and then setting the timer. I'll do 12 minutes. And then I'll just eat this banana. Oh, I don't like the little, like, stringies. Anybody else hate those little stringies? They're, gr they're disgusting. Yeah. 
Anthony, I, I pulled it off. I don't know how. Because it wasn't looking that way, but I pulled it off. Ew, it was like... No, no, that's fine. It's just bruised. Oh. Weird banana brownness. Taylor, I know. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Oh, June! You just reminded me! Guys, June just reminded me! Thank you, June! I did want to add just a couple chocolate chips on a couple of them. Because I've, I've never had chocolate and banana before. But I wanted to try it. Oh, I'm dropping them. Where'd it go? Oh, no. Oh, he's over here. I'm dropping them. I'm going to add a couple to the top. Of, I'm gonna do three of them. Push them in a little bit. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay, I only did a couple. Now I'm going to throw it back in. Thank you so much, June, for reminding me because I almost forgot. Well, actually, I did forget. Okay, they are in. My nose is running because it's cold down here. Okay, timer's back on. Sparks, thank you so much for our first donation of the night. Thank you so much for the $20. Long live banana muffins. Dude, I totally agree. Banana muffins are the best. They really are. Anything banana, I love it. This, this little, like, chocolate chip looks weird. This is the one that dropped on the floor. I'm just going to brush it off and eat it. But, like, it looks like a peep. I don't know why it looks like that. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> All right. They are in the oven. So now we can chat for a little bit. We're about 11 or 10 minutes. Um... Oh, thank you guys so much. You guys are so sweet. Thank you, Resident Dark and Megan. Dana, it probably would be good with uh, walnuts, but I, I don't know. I prefer, um, I prefer like banana bread and banana muffins and stuff like that without nuts on it. I don't know. I know a lot of people like the crunch in it, but I mainly, like, I'm here for the banana flavor. And nothing else. <laughs> but that probably would be good. Michael McFarlane! Thank you for being a member for seven months! Banana muffins are delicious. Hell yeah! I'm so glad everybody agrees that banana muffins are the goat. Ever had a root beer float? Yes! I had a root beer float. I think my last root beer float I've had... It was like Pitts Grove Day, and it was like years ago. Um, I think I was like in early high school. It was like this little fair, and it was pretty dang good. It was a, like a, um, a Stewart's uh, like food truck style, and they were selling them with, um, I think they were selling that with like chicken tenders and stuff like that. And root beer floats are pretty dang good. I haven't had one since, though. Cassandra, I did eat before the stream. But I usually eat before and then I'll eat again after the stream. Because um, the streams like are usually like two and a half hours long or whatever. And then I'll just eat again because I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> but I did have a turkey sandwich. Um before I started the stream. We're leaving 15 minutes to go watch American Idol. Oh my gosh. 
That's that's so crazy that this show is still on. I remember when this show like first came out, and I I remember seeing all the commercials for it when it was first like debuting. Would be cool if your parents were here. Yeah, yeah. It kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? You know. Mm -hmm. This is American Idol. Oh my God! Yes. John, I could I could hear um, Ryan Seacrest's voice in that when you say that. <laughs> I haven't watched that in so long. How was your sleep last night? Uh, what did I dream about? What did I dream about last night? I don't know. I didn't have any like vivid dreams last night. If anything, they were kind of like a bunch of them, but like scattered and kind of like cloudy. If you know what I mean? Um, but nothing that I can like recall that I had last night. But my sleep was pretty decent. It's pretty good. Found a milkshake. Oh, yeah. Or a smoothie. Oh. Oh god. You ever tried tofu? I have had tofu. I'm not the biggest fan. It doesn't really taste like anything. But if it's there, it's there, you know. But I'm not gonna ask for it, you know. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can Jesse be your cooking partner? I mainly like we don't really like cook together. Kind of like cook our own stuff or I'll cook him stuff. We don't really like cook together a lot. We used to when we did uh, HelloFresh meals, like during um, during the pandemic and stuff, we would cook a lot and then, and then it turned into me cooking it, but um, you know, eventually, but yeah, we don't really cook that much like together. Mm. Oh, yes, um, Epic Coffee Cup. I have made three ingredient peanut butter cookies. I used to make them a lot, um, like in college, um, if I was like jonesing for something, just because, I mean, it's so easy. I think it's like one egg, peanut butter, and sugar, and that's it. Um, but they are, they are very good. But you have to watch, because I have tried it, with different peanut butters and I didn't care for it. Like I've tried it with Peter Pan peanut butter. I didn't like it. Um, I usually try to stick with Jif. Um, or if I don't have Jif, I'll do Skippy peanut butter, but it really depends on like the type of peanut butter that you use because I feel like when I use Peter Pan, it almost gave it like a roasted, like, um, not, maybe like burnt but they weren't burnt taste i don't know they gave it like this really dark roasted taste to it that i didn't like um but yeah i try to i try to do skippy or jeff for those and i haven't made it with like all natural peanut butter i don't know if it might be too um too oily for that uh, healthy smoothie drinks. I actually had one yesterday. I like to make uh, strawberry or strawberry banana smoothies, and it's literally like four strawberries, a banana, um, some ice, like two tablespoons of vanilla yogurt, and a little bit of oat milk, and that's it. And then you just blend it all up, and it's pretty dang good. Sometimes, like after it's all blended, and I still have. A lot of room left in the blender I will add another banana because I like I like my strawberry banana smoothies to be very banana heavy <laughs> um, but especially too if you're trying to like um, save on strawberries I'll use like I used to put like a lot of strawberries in there but now I've, I've cut back to like four medium-sized ones have I ever seen the TV show Corner Gas? No, I haven't. Magic Cookie Bar? I've never heard of that. My favorite type of chocolate is milk or semi-sweet chocolate. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of dark chocolate. Um, 
but depending on what it's in, um, I will enjoy it. So it, it really, it really all depends. It all depends on what it's with. Like just to eat dark chocolate, like no. Um, if it was like dark chocolate, like covered something or whatever, I'll, then I'll like it. I like chocolate peanut butter and banana protein shake. Ooh. I've actually never had, I've never put like protein or anything in my, um, my milk sh or my smoothies or anything like that. I've just, I've never, I've never been on the protein grind and I don't think I'd like want to. I have no interest. I'll get my protein elsewhere, but, um, yeah, I just try to stick with, with, you know, as much clean ingredients as I can. Are you still thinking about becoming a teacher, George? Um, no, I haven't thought about that in a long time. Um, yeah, ever since, like, the pandemic and stuff, it, like, messed everything up, and, um, I just started going heavier with, you know, content creation and stuff like that, so I haven't really had a need to, so, but I also haven't had, like, a want to at the same time, um, but I enjoy everything I'm doing right now, and I'm still getting by, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep kicking with the baking streams and the content and stuff for you guys. So <laughs> I'm here. How's Mason's diet doing? It's doing really well. I think he's doing really well. Um, I did get a little like discouraged because I weighed him and it literally says like he hasn't lost anything, but then there was another time before that that I weighed him and it did say that he lost weight. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's a scale. I don't know if it's water weight. I don't know. But I'm just, like, mainly going by looks and, like, his energy levels. And his energy levels have been higher lately. Um, and his diet's pretty good. He's been eating his new uh, food, which is Purina, or Purina uh, like, Pro Plan or something. Um, he really, he likes this food so much better than the other food he used to eat. So he used to eat uh, Purina One uh, Healthy Weight. Um, but he likes this one so much better. So he has been doing really good. He has been like, there's been times where he's been like a little extra hungry and he'll, he'll cry for a little bit more food. Sometimes I'll give in and I'll just give him just a little bit, like, uh, like a half of like a quarter cup or something, just like a couple pieces and he'll be satisfied. Or I'll like distract him and like play with him instead or like do other things or take him out or do something else, uh, to distract him from his food bowl, <laughs> you know, being empty, but but I am, I am proud of him. He's doing really well. He's, he's doing a lot better than I expected. Okay, so that is 12 minutes on the timer. I'm actually going to pull these out and check them because they, like, look done. I didn't realize. Like, I thought these were going to take at least, like, 40 minutes. And then, yeah, 15, 20 minutes. I'm, like, surprised by that. going to try putting a knife in and see if it comes out clean. It is not clean, so it is not done. I should throw it back in. Um, I'm going to throw it back in for maybe three more minutes. We'll start there. Three more minutes. Yeah, that was not done. Oh! There we go. They're all over the floor. Madison is okay. Madison is okay. I have, um, there's a lot of recipes I saw on Pinterest, uh, Miranda, about uh, making your own ice cream. I think it'd be so cool. We used to have, like, this cool little, like, ice cream machine thing. Uh, like, we bought it and we used it once and it broke. <laughs> but, like, making your own ice cream, that sounds so fun. And it sounds like it would be really good. So, maybe I'll do something like that. But I, I know that there's recipes out there that has, like, it's just, like, banana puree and, like, chocolate chips or whatever. And, like, that's it. And then you freeze it. 
Um, I'm down for like any of that. <laughs> Anything cold, frozen, fruit related, whatever. That sounds really good. So maybe, maybe I'll like look up something to make my own like ice cream or something. But that's also something I can't try, you know, on the stream. I would have to like tweet out because I'm sure it would have to sit in the freezer for a while. Biscoff Biscuits, Luke. Yes, they are delicious. I love Biscoff. The first time I've had a Biscoff cookie was on an airplane. I don't even remember where. I, maybe it was like January 21st or something. And it was like one of the snacks they give you halfway through your flight. And it was like two cookies. And I fell in love. And then I noticed that Walmart sells them. I haven't had them in a long time, though. In, in like a couple years. But... Biscoff cookies are so good. And I saw that they have like cream cream filled ones now. They're really good. I've had those. They're really good, but not as good as just the regular cookies with no cream filled. Biscoffs though. Oh, so good. Uh, how are your pants doing? Did they finish the renovations on their house? So they're they're doing like little renovations or little renovations here and there, like changing the paint color of some rooms, um, trying to make it more personalized uh, for their style. Um, but they're just doing little things here and there, like um, they put like gutters on the house. Uh, they did some like yard work, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, they're doing pretty well. They're pretty happy there in Florida. Have you ever heard the movie Angels in the Outfield? Yes, I think I watched that with Jess. Um, like a year or so ago. That's a pretty good movie. Wow, it's already been three minutes. I guess I'll try it again. Hi, DeMarcus. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. I texted you on DM Instagram a couple days ago. I'll have to check it out. My Instagram's like a shit show. What the? I accidentally grabbed that. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. Oh, clean. They're good. They are done. Let me try another one because I actually did the same, the same muffin, but yes. They are done. They only needed that three more minutes. Uh, off. Actually, ooh, my little taffy. Ugh. Let them cool for a few minutes, and then I'll put them on a wire rack to cool even faster. I think I'm actually really going to like it with the chocolate chips in it. I might regret, like, not putting more chocolate chips in other ones. I only put them in three. So I knew Jess wouldn't want them. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, you sent a recipe for cookies. Bradley, I have to check it out. There was actually somebody, or actually a few people, sending me some recipes through Instagram. Um, and I do check them. I do look through... Um, and I actually saved a couple of them. So when you guys like send me recipes and stuff, like I, I do see that stuff. Um, like sometimes it's like a reel or like a little video or something. Um, but I, I will, I will check those out. Um, have you ever heard of KFC's menu nuggets? No. I don't even know if I like have a KFC around me. Yeah, I don't even know. Have I tried banana fritters? No. No, I haven't. I probably really like it, though. Oh, I got too many tabs open. Too many things. I should create my own cookbook. That's something I've never tried before, just, like, making my own recipe. I've always just, like, you know, looked online and stuff. Um, I feel like... I feel like I could do that. I feel like I have... Maybe, like, enough experience to, um, 
to know like how much of what or each and then like you know just experiment and stuff I think that would be fun that'd be really fun uh Timothy I don't know I'm not sure I don't really know much about it what foods am I not a huge fan of uh fish um I know there's a lot I just can't think of any off the top of my head right now but I know a big one is fish um yeah I honestly cannot think right now but I, I know there's some out there <laughs> Um, Manny, I don't know. I'm actually not sure. So, I don't know. I guess we'll both see. <laughs> uh, do I have a Facebook? I don't have a public Facebook. I do have a private one. Um, but yeah, but not a public one. Do I have a Nintendo Switch? I don't have one, but Jess does. He has one, and I've I've used it a few times. Let me try. These are flatten a little bit. That's fine. Let me try and take some of these out. These are almost like too like bulky. I can't get my fingers around them. There we go. Oh. Oh. Joseph, thank you so much for the donation. Hi, Ashley, how are you doing? I hope you and Jesse are doing well. We are doing really well. I hope you're doing well also. Yeah, doing pretty good. I hope these, uh, I think these muffins are gonna be great. I just wanted to hurry up and cool down so I could try one. I'll show you guys up close in a second what they look like. Without burning myself. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got some chocolate on me. Okay, so here's the one. Pull it up. Here's the one with the chocolate chips on it, and then here's just the regular one. But they're looking pretty good, and they're smelling pretty good but they're very hot. Let them cool down a little bit. Banana muffins are healthy. They're only healthy if they don't have like a lot of like white sugar and stuff in them because it is pretty easy to like just make a healthy recipe not healthy anymore, you know? have like bananas or like like fruits and stuff that have like a lot of sugars in them already and then you just add like a bunch more sugar so <laughs> so not all of them are healthy but you just have to find ones that are healthier <laughs> you know it's that's that's the biggest battle finding ones that are a little bit healthier than other ones because it is, it is difficult and then there's a lot of ingredients too that like you know you're just not sure if you should trust or like I know, uh, me personally, I don't like, or and I also don't trust a lot of the, um, the substitute sugars. Like, I'll, I'll use coconut sugar, that's natural, but like, all of the, um, like stevias and there's like a whole list of like all kinds of sugars. What are they called? Substitute, I forget what they're called. Um, yeah, Stevia Splenda, Monk Fruit, okay, they're pretty decent, um, Truvia, no, I don't, so there's like, there's, there's a lot that are just like, there's a lot of studies that have been coming out saying that it's not as good as you think it is, it's actually worse than just having just regular sugar, so... You know, you kind of got to pick your battles there. It, it is difficult. I used to not like coconuts, Julian. Um, but then as I got older, 
I started to enjoy them more. Sometimes, like, I can't get past the texture of eating coconut or something with coconut. I, I don't like to eat coconut, like, straight up, but, like, just the texture in some, some things I don't like, but I do like the flavor of it. But, um, and I also do really like, um, I like toasted coconut. So I'll like, I'll make macaroons or something. Um, what else has toasted coconut? I just, even eating just toasted coconut, I love it. It's crispy and stuff, but just like, just regular coconut though. And it's kind of like, I don't know. It's like not sandpapery, but it's just you chew it but like it also like doesn't do anything it kind of keeps its shape i don't know it is it is a weird texture i don't think there's anything else like it that i can compare it to just try making a biscoff cake luke that does sound pretty good i do want to try something with biscoff in it because i really do like biscoff um i have had like a um like a banana dessert before that had like um, some like whipped cream on top and then they crushed up Biscoff cookies on the top. That was really good. And I think they have like Biscoff syrup now, right? Biscoff syrup or something? Yes, they do. Homemade Biscoff syrup. You can make it, but they also sell it too. Oh, that would be so good. Mm. What is Biscoff anyway? Is it like primarily like cinnamon or something like what is the main spice in biscoff cookies cinnamon nutmeg cloves ginger cardamom uh ground anise white pepper okay so it's pretty similar to like a lot of the spices used in um pumpkin pie pineapple bread i've never heard of that Girl chicken salad is pretty dang good. Oh, cookie butter. Which what is that one? Biscoff cookie butter. I think that that's like a spread, right? Yes. But like what would you put that? Like because it's a spread, what do you do? Like put that on toast or something? I don't know what you would put that on melt it and pour it on cookies or something or brownies i don't know like what i would spread it on because it looks like the consistency of like peanut butter <laughs> yeah i guess you would just like melt it and use it oh biscoff crispy creams oh guys we're gonna have to do something biscoff related soon Black Forest cake. Oh, I do want to make, I don't think I've made just like a chocolate cake yet. I want to like go like chocolate on chocolate with double chocolate cake. You know what I mean? And then add like chocolate chips and then chocolate shavings on the top. Oh, that, that would be so good. I love just a, a rich piece of chocolate cake. Vanilla cookies? No. I do like making um, the cake mix cookies where you use a box of cake mix. I've used lemon and strawberry and then I think I did, I've done chocolate before but it wasn't as good. Um, but the lemon is like the best I think. The lemon cake mix cookies you use that. I think you use like milk and like a couple other ingredients and then you roll it in powdered sugar and then you eat it. Very good. Maybe we should make that pretty soon because those those things those things are delicious. If you guys have ever had cake mix cookies. And I think they're fun to make. I haven't we haven't made cookies in a while, guys. And cookies are like my favorite thing to bake. I feel like because it's been my favorite, I like steer away from it because I know like I feel like they're not everybody else's favorite so I like avoid it which I don't know why because if it's my favorite and I'm eating them I should be making more cookies 
I just, I love cookies. Cookies are my favorite. But then, I mean, I have been trying to, like, make... I know there's, like, cookies I haven't made before, but I know I've been trying to, like, expand and, like, you know, make new desserts lately. But I might have to, like, throw in a couple, you know, cookies, cookie recipes here and there because I love them. <laughs> Demarcus, yes! We all agree. Mister, are these cool yet? I want one. Eh, they're getting there. The cooling rack definitely helps though. If you guys don't have a cooling rack and you guys bake a lot and you want things to like cool down quickly, definitely recommend a cooling rack. I got this one. I think I got it at Marshall's. And actually like these open up and it's like double the size. Um, but I think this was only like six bucks or something. So they're pretty nice to have. I didn't used to use uh, cooling racks, but because I always found like parchment paper was easier. But then sometimes like if you leave it in here or you leave it on the pan or like on parchment paper and stuff, it, it does take a while to cool down. And two, because it's so hot, sometimes it does continue baking for like another like minute or so, depending on like what you're making. Um, or if you're making like any type of like, you know, banana bread or le lemon blueberry bread or whatever. Um, if you don't take it out of the pan and put it on top of a rack so it could have space to cool underneath, um, it will continue baking. So, fun fact there, if you want a cooling rack, I don't think I've ever had pineapple upside down cake. Um, I'd have to look into like what actually is in that because I know nothing about that. You never knew about coconut sugar until I mentioned it? Really? That's interesting. I think I have it. Um, yes, I use organic brown coconut sugar. I actually got this on Amazon. Um, and it is unrefined and low uh, glycemic and certified fair trade, it says. It is a one-to-one -one replacement for brown sugar. But they do make, it's like, this is brown coconut sugar, but they also make just regular coconut sugar that is, like, not brown, I think. Or what, what was it called? I think it was called golden. Um, and you can use that one to substitute for white sugar. Um, but sometimes I do, like, if the recipe does have white sugar, I will just use this one. Um, it does give it, like, a richer taste. Um, and it doesn't taste, to me, like, you don't get that coconut taste, um, as, like, as what you would expect from coconut sugar. Because it kind of does, like, cook out. But the smell of this is really good. <laughs> It does give it like a definitely a richer taste to everything, but not not in like a huge coconut flavor way. So I, I really enjoy using it. This is a one pound bag. On the back of it, it, says, it has a recipe for flourless brownies. That sounds pretty good. Calls for eggs, this coconut sugar, cocoa powder, coconut oil, vanilla extract, and sea salt. And that's it. That's actually a pretty good recipe. Maybe we should make that soon. In an 8x4 pan. Mmm. That's pretty good. Might have to try that. It is granulated coconut blossom nectar. That's what this is. And then I also have cassava flour in here. I can't say, ooh, I just went everywhere. I can't say if this is good or not because I've only used it for one recipe and that was the carrot cake recipe and I didn't like it. But I can't say like it was because of the cassava flour. Um, so I would have to use this again in another recipe to see how it turns out. Um, but this is definitely a good alternative to 
Um, especially if you are keto. If you're keto and you're trying to get away from the standard, you know, white flour um, and the bleach flour and stuff like that, cassava flour is a good alternative. It is one cassava flour is 100% yucca root. Um, I think I got this on Amazon too because my grocery store did not sell this. So I actually had to get it online. And then also, this is such like a big bag. Or, well, actually, yeah, this is a one pound. Oof, it is closed, but for some reason, I think there's like powder and little crevices. Um, this is a one pound bag, but the ratio to switch between this and flour are different. Um, one cup of all purpose flour is three quarter cups cassava flour. So you actually use less. So actually like with the cost difference between these two, because this is a little bit more, it might be worth it because you're using less. So another little fun fact, Indiana Cryptid, thank you so much for the donation. Hello, hello to you too. Hello, hello. Brownies, yes, brownies are also one of my favorites. Not to make, but to eat. <laughs> um, Hawaiian pineapple bread, that sounds good. Guys, I have so many, like, just ideas. So many recipe ideas just in my head. Um, but I don't have anything picked out, I think, for the next stream. But I have been jonesing for something cookie. Cookie related, you know? Mm. Amazon has some good stuff on there. Dude, Amazon. I get everything off of Amazon. <laughs> Especially if I'm able to, like, plan ahead of what I'm making, especially like because um, my grocery store didn't like sell uh, that flour, but I know a lot of grocery st grocery stores do sell the the coconut sugar, but some also don't. I can't like get it from my local one. I would have to go, or I I can't get it from my local like convenience store. I would actually have to go to a grocery store. Uh, so sometimes if I plan ahead. And I'll look on Amazon, sometimes they'll be on sale or whatever, or maybe like a dollar or two more. Sometimes I'll pull the trigger and buy it. If not, you know, I'll just get it at the grocery store. But um, that's what's nice about planning ahead. So if I, if I, you know, am busy that week or whatever and I don't have time to run to the grocery store, I will just order it off of Amazon. But there are some things food related um, or even like stuff like that that are like way pricier on Amazon than it is in the grocery store. Like almost like an eight to ten dollar difference. I'm like, y'all are out of your mind. I will go to I will make my way to the grocery store. <laughs> Some of it's a little crazy. Where's Brittany? I don't know. She's supposed to be busy. White cheddar mac and cheese. Oh I, I really like um Annie's white cheddar mac and cheese. It's pretty good if you haven't had it yet. That's the only white cheddar mac and cheese I've ever had. And I also, yeah, today also on Amazon I ordered a power strip for myself because I have to keep stealing Justice Power Strips from the Blackjack streams, his little setup over there, to plug in like my laptop, my camera, light and stuff like that. So I did order one today, it's coming tomorrow, so that'll help. So a lot of new things for the little baking stream setup that I've gotten recently. And especially really liking those, those spice, um, little spice jars and these little jars. I think they're so cute. I think they're such a cute addition. What am I doing? This is like a mess over here. <laughs> what is happening? I just have like a, it just looks like a disaster back here. Let me clean it up a little bit. That's trash. This is all trash. Trash. All in the trash can. Put these away. Put this away. The little cups. I think there was like 60. So we got quite a bit for future baking streams. And I can put my oil down here. There we go. All good. Yes, I'm still here. Yes. I know this was like a quicker recipe to make because everything was already like pre-mixed. Um, 
so. Yeah, these are. I got another couple minutes and then we'll try one. We'll use Walmart delivery. We use, um, I've used like ShopRite delivery before. Uh, Le Giant, stuff like that. We used to use them a lot, um, especially during quarantine and stuff like that. What is that? What is a ga ga gadio? Godio? Gadio? Christopher, how do you say that? Thank you, Carla. Thank you. The salva flower is not keto friendly. Oh, that's right. Yes. You're right, because I remember I was looking at keto recipes, and I think I decided on one that wasn't keto, and it had cassava flour. That's right. So, yes, cassava flour is not keto friendly. Forgot. Because there was a toss-up between two different ones that I was going to make, um, and I ultimately chose the one that was not keto. Um, because the one that did call for keto, it was like the ingredients for it. It was like, I've never even heard of these ingredients. My grocery stores did not have them. And Amazon, they wanted like $40 per ingredient. I was like, no, not for one recipe. It was like this, that carrot cake would have cost me like a hundred bucks. I was not going to do it. Um, that's why I chose the one that had cassava flour because it was cheaper and it had less ingredients. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the movie Dumb and Dumber? Yeah! It's such a funny movie. Alright, I'm gonna see... Yeah, Aflac, I couldn't, my grocery store, I assumed, sold almond flour, but for whatever reason, I could not find it. I couldn't find, I went to two different grocery stores and I couldn't find it. And then I went to go get some on Amazon and I would not have had it in time. Um, but I do want to start baking with almond flour instead of all-purpose flour. I just like, I just couldn't find it. But Amazon was just asking way too much for just almond flour. Or even coconut flour. Just like there was just all, there's so many different alternatives of flowers and it was just way too expensive. Um, let's see. You're eating a quarter pounder from McDonald's? Oh! I am jealous. You got fries, right? Like, I'm always in the mood for McDonald's french fries. McDonald's french fries are so good. I love them. I feel like I didn't eat fast food that much, like, growing up. So now as I, like, I'm older and I can, like, access it whenever I want, I, like, I want it. <laughs> I'm always craving it, but like I hardly ever eat it. <laughs> soy flour. Let's look up soy flour. Oh, that is not soy flour. Let me look it up on Amazon. How much is soy flour? Some of these flowers are getting pretty. Br oh, they have oat flour too. Organic soy flour, okay, ten dollars for one pound. That's not bad. That's that's pretty reasonable, um, because um, you don't use like that much of it. I mean, depending on the recipe, also, but um, yeah. Look who made it. More streaming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did get fries. Oh, I'm so jealous. Dude, I'm beat. Yeah. You're tired after last night's stream. It was like eight hour stream. Dude, that was a long stream. 
This one I feel is pretty short because like the mix and then I just added a couple things and I threw it in the oven. I made three of them with chocolate chips and then the other ones are regular. And I added the half they of a all banana. Have banana. Yes. I added half of a banana. Alrighty. Should I try up, one with the chocolate chips or should I just try just straight up? Oh, you haven't tried it yet? No. Oh. Well, it's still cooling down, so you're technically supposed to wait or else it will stick. Um, but I'll go in. Yeah, I usually like it better after, like, after a bit, and it's, yeah. it, it's like, That's cold. A, it, I, I think it even said it on the box, so wait for it to completely cool before opening because it will just stick, but it's fine. Ready? Here we go. That's pretty good. That's a lot of banana flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm, I got a little banana chunk. Yeah, it's like a better version of the banana bread. Yeah. The it's stream yesterday moist. was magnificent. It was pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was pretty insane. It was. I didn't, like you said, like I didn't think anything would top Bill and I, and yeah. then literally the one right after topped it. Yeah. <laughs> Asian and Jackie was like Dude. neck and neck. They were fighting to the finish line the whole way. I, I honestly did not know who was going to get it. Literally came down to the final hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> Even then, it was, like, questionable. Yep. Yeah, because he got a perfect match. Yeah. That was insane. So he was only short, like, a little bit until he lost his ham. Yeah. yeah Just to get morning voice at night. <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> it's from freaking... Entertaining so long. Yeah. You are you were projecting your voice for seven, eight hours. Yeah. It's pretty raspy today. I thought Jesse was, hang, was hungover. He pretty much is. Uh, yeah, I am. He, he's hungover from streaming, and then now he's in my stream to eat some. <laughs> it's pretty good, though. That is good. Is the box still down there? No. It's on the top of the trash can. Mm. Pretty dang good. This brand, like, I love this brand. Not too bad. Simple Mills. I feel like I want to try, like, everything from that brand now. Yeah. They make cakes, cookies, a bunch of stuff. And I feel like I want to try it all because yeah, it's all too be, good. They're going to be good tomorrow. Oh, yeah. The longer these sip, the better they're going to taste. Rob says, Jesse, help Yeg stay at the house. I, tr I had a few conversations with him, heart-to-heart -heart moments, but uh, it sounds like he made his parents a promise. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't think he wants to, to break that. Plus, yeah. plus, I, I do think, uh, going back to school, does make sense for a lot of different reasons. Um, it just sucks timing wise. We're about to work on a movie, and that's what he wants to do. But tough call, you know. I, I do think uh, Yanks has grown up faster than he potentially maybe should. Um, put a lot of pressure on himself to be successful at a very young age. I think a lot of young people have been doing that. So I think it's nice for him to go back to the school, community environment, make some friends, party, hang out a little bit, like kind of relax. Then once you're through school, then you could get back in the grind. Because he is like in his early 20s, you know? Hey, he just turned 21 last year. Yeah, yes. so you got to do like... 20s things you whereas know? like for the that's last your, that's your party fun stage before like the end of your 20s where it's just gone <laughs> yeah plus, plus i think he's he's felt that Having you know fun. social media is kind of plateaued for yeah. and, and the, the platforms are just very everybody's in kind of a lull man and as the recession draws ever closer i think it's just going to be like just try to chill <laughs> just yeah. try to chill you had cinnamon toast crunch here. Oh yeah, I grew up on that, Luke. Man, oh, that's yeah. that's always good. Last stream last night was the longest blackjack stream I've ever seen. Yeah, Laura, that was a new record. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna beat that. Honestly, I, I think that. I, I mean, I don't know. No, because I I'm getting the capture card in a couple days, so we shouldn't have any camera problems. The camera problems added up cumulatively probably like two hours maybe, of like start stop start stop. Um, so yeah, that that should be the longest one. Next next blackjack stream we will have. Zero issues. 
Rob says college is scary. I, uh, scary, I don't know if it's the right word, but it's something. Brittany, I did get enough sleep. Yeah, it's just, uh, it doesn't matter how much sleep I get. If I, and they said cumulative damage from Psycho Series, screaming, and uh, just eight hours of talking, like projecting your voice, uh, it, it takes its toll. Brian Cranston said when he's on Broadway doing like back to back shows that he'll do Silent Monday and he'll just not talk for an entire day <laughs> really? to rest his voice. And that's kind of how I've been trying to do today. That's funny. Because it, hurt, it hurts a little bit to speak. I woke up just like coughing and shit. I'm just like, oh. I don't, I'm not sick though. That's crazy. I just feel like drained as a cough. Yeah. Christopher said, no offense, Jesse. I have a crush on Ashley. That's fine. I get it. <laughs> I see what there is to like. Sweet. <laughs> Who nice won Blackjack? And Jackie, man. And she Jackie. she earned it. Dude. That was that was crazy. She was she, she was literally she was shaking. Nervous. No, she was literally shaking like I was probably the literally the entire it's final show. It's a lot. It's a lot shaking. of pressure. Yeah, Ashley's quiet most of the time too cuz she just You're just like in the zone and you're trying not to like mess up or like get your like I don't know. You don't want your nerves to mess you up either. Yeah. Or, or I'll like look at Ashley. I'll be like, you "Are you sure?" And you're like, I'm, "It's like a deer in the headlights. Yeah. Like, like, you don't even know what's going on." It's just like you'd hate to go that whole time, and then like, you know, you get in your head, and then you mess up like the last, like when it means the most, the last couple hands. Like you don't want to do that. It's terrible. What's the next recipe for? A Biden after banana? <laughs> Biden, ben, Biden, Biden? Mu Biden muffins? Biden banana muffins? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, I do have a couple ideas. I wanted to... I don't know. I had an idea of, of doing something, but I think I'm going to change it to something else. Um, I want to do, like... I miss making cookies. I want to I make a cookie or something. Cookie? But I don't know. I haven't. I haven't decided. I don't, nobody. Or, or I can even look to see other stuff by that Simple Mills brand, because this one's really good. Yeah, there was so, something. I forget what it was. Was that coconut thing? But then Maybe. I decided not to. But I don't know. I don't know. I usually like to also go off of, like, what I'm in the mood for eating. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I don't know what that is yet, because I just made this. So The Blackjack streams... Yeah, either every one week or two weeks. Just kind of whenever I'm feeling it. I don't want to get to the point where it's like kind of I'm dreading it. Laura, I'm going to look into that because I don't even know how you make a chocolate eclair. I don't yeah. even know. Basically, I've, you have to start making your own donuts. I like them frozen. That was an idea, too. I do have that Oh, yeah, that's down what you would do. You would, get the you would get the dough and then make a donut and then you just inject it with, like, the cream. Oh, well, the, yeah, that's a yeah. donut eclair. I'm talking about, like, the long... Yeah actual eclairs yeah fry it like a, you would a donut but in that shape and then just inject it oh you it. fry it yeah like you would like you're making i don't know you'd have, you'd have to make donuts and then make eclair as well i was just thinking about just making donuts too yeah make your but, own donut but All it's the hard it's hard because like a lot of the donut recipes that i've seen that you bake don't have great reviews because a lot of times you're supposed to fry donuts and i don't want to fry them I want to make a healthier version of a donut. Do it. But I have to, like, find a recipe that is decent. Blackjack is not hard to play. Uh, it's pretty... There, there's a lot of different rules to know if you have certain hands, but it's it's something anyone can learn. We, we, we played in seventh grade in our math class. That's how we kind of learned oh. math. <laughs> they, really? Yeah, they incentivized it with blackjack. We were playing with, like, fake chips and stuff. Me. But it actually helped us not know blackjack, but know math, which was pretty good. I didn't learn it until you. <laughs> mm. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, but if we went to the same school, we should have been taught. No, this was middle school. Oh, you went to PTMS? Yeah. Yeah. It was Mrs. Mose Or no. Oh. Well, I didn't have her. No, never mind. That was, was, that was that fourth that, grade? That was fourth grade. It was Olivet. I had Hall. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. But... I had oh. math with her. I forget who that woman was and where she was, but she no, taught us blackjack. Oh. Clearly a fellow addict. Now she made me one. <laughs> yeah, that's all I drive, George, is the Tesla. Lemon-filled donuts? Huh. 
Yeah, I think you gotta make donuts cream. next. Everyone likes. All right, guys, I'm cream. Audi. I'm B. I can't get stuck. Everyone here. likes cream or anything filled donuts, but I don't. <laughs> I like just chocolate. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. What's with the finger? All right. <laughs> okay, bye. All right. Love you, Zeph. You're rigid. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. New vlog coming out Tuesday. Tuesday. I got a production meeting tomorrow. Uh oh. Wish me luck. Bye, guys. Oh, man. Good job. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We'll actually eat them. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> They're all saying bye now. It's delayed. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, guys. I'll probably be live for just a few more minutes. And then I'm going to hop off and get out of here. Um, probably just going to chill with him. Because we both, like, been feeling pretty... Pretty tired and run down today. That's why I was like, let's go to the park and go walk around because I needed I needed to get up and get moving. Um, but um, yeah, I'll probably just chill with him and then he'll probably be playing video games. So I will tonight be researching uh, my next baking recipe. So if you guys got any ideas, send them my way because tonight I am looking. I'm looking for some recipes. Um, but I do want to try and find like a healthier donut that you can bake. That would be cool because I do, I did at the store, they had cinnamon sugar on sale for only a dollar. So it was like in their, you know, regular, uh, spice canisters. So I poured it into here. Um, but I was like, well, you never know. Cause I have been thinking about donuts. So I did pick up cinnamon sugar just in case because it was on sale. So. Like I said before, I like to, if things are on sale or whatever, or catches my eye, I like to pick them up and then, you know, use them later or whenever, um, for later baking streams, you never know. You never know, because sometimes when I actually go to look for cinnamon sugar, you know, I can't find it. You know, you can always make your own, but, um, that goes for any spice, you know. Once, like, I see it, I don't pick it up, but then when I need it, I can't find it. <laughs> it's usually how it goes. Uh, Brittany, the baking went well. We actually used a box mix this time. It was by Simple Mills brand. It is a uh, brand that I've really been liking. I really like their snacks, but if you look up Simple Mills, um, they are very um, organic and cleaner ingredients, uh, healthier for you. They don't have any preservatives and stuff in there. So I really like their snacks. So I wanted to try their, um, their banana bread mix or banana muffin mix. Um, so that's what we did tonight. It was a faster stream, quicker stream, but, um, we got it done and we got some delicious muffins. So I will definitely be looking up more from that brand because I just like, I love everything by them. I love it. They make some good snacks. Do you prefer honey or maple syrup? Um, when I'm baking, I prefer honey. Because maple syrup is just like, there's so much added sugar in there. But then with honey, it's more natural sugars. I try to find anything that has more natural sugars. Jesse wearing a VidCon shirt right now. Um, While well, YouTube recommending me sacrificing a juggy at VidCon, which is, yeah. Oh my god, that is so funny. That's actually like the first time he's worn that shirt. And like, actually this is the first time I've seen him wear that shirt. Because he found it when he was cleaning out his class and stuff when he was doing the giveaway for all of the um, MVE stuff and props and things like that. So he actually ended up finding that shirt. And I was like, you better save that shirt because <laughs> I think it's nice. So that's actually the first time I've seen him wear it. I think it's a good color. Thought about making Red Lobster biscuits are so good. They are good. Red Lobster biscuits are good. I've, I've made those before. The little uh, recipe bags or boxes that you get they're they're so good so good i want to say like honey is good for you but it's definitely a better alternative when it comes to other using other sugars um so yeah sugar-free maple syrup i actually have sugar-free maple syrup and i haven't tried it yet I don't think I've ever had it, but I do have it upstairs. Frank, um, uncle, or did I really say uncle? Aunt Jackie, uh, won blackjack last night. I 
a keto donut i will definitely look that up ask like are you keto are you on the keto diet a funnel cake i actually thought about that today i love funnel cakes i made one before um when i live with my parents but they are they are delicious Brittany, yes, I feel you on that. You can eat the biscuits as the main course. I feel you. Yes. They're too good. We used to have them. Um, we didn't have them a lot, but sometimes, like, we would get them when they were on sale, and um, my parents would make it with uh, spaghetti or something on the side, or, you know, some type of pasta. Usually spaghetti. My parents made spaghetti a lot, and then for a long time, because they made it so much, I just, like, didn't like spaghetti anymore. <laughs> so I had to go a while without eating spaghetti, because I just, like, it just grossed me out for a bit. <laughs> what happened to the winner that won the cameraman competition? So, we didn't find a camera person, but we did find an editor at the time, and then... He was an editor for a while, um, and then we realized that at the time um, things things changed, plans changed, and Jesse did not need two editors anymore. So then um, he did go down to just one editor. Um, but um, it was helpful, you know, during the time. But things change, you know. What I can do? Can't eat gluten stuff. Yeah, that's tough. If you are gluten free, I tried to be gluten free before. Um, I was having like stomach issues. Um, was I? I think I just graduated high school, and I was having a lot of stomach issues. And I tried going uh, gluten free, dairy free, like all whatever free, and um, nothing worked for me. But I will say that, like, the dairy and the gluten-free were, like, the it was so hard. It was hard to go gluten-free because literally gluten's in everything. Um, and I love pasta, so I had to find, like, you know, gluten-free pasta and stuff like that. So I feel for you. I really do. I feel for you. Um, okay, guys. I'm going to hop out of here. I'm going to put these away and guess started on my research for the next baking stream um thank you to everybody that donated thank you to everybody that came out to hang out and chat um even if you just came here to just watch i appreciate you hanging out and yeah but not a waffle i'm like i'm i'm done <laughs> you just came in here um oh, oh my reading on the muffins um these will definitely be better at room temperature, but they're still, like, warm, so they're, like, sticking to the, um, to the paper here. But I do got to give these a 10 out of 10, just because, like, I feel better eating these because the ingredients are so much better than making just regular, you know, um, banana bread or whatever because, um, they cause for, like, a lot of granulated sugar and stuff like that, and this has, like, coconut sugar so it's better ingredients. So because it has better ingredients, um, and also it does have a lot of banana flavor outside of the banana that I put in it, it is still flavorful and it tastes, I honestly think this tastes better than every banana bread that I've ever made. Um, yeah, the spices in here are more prominent and it tastes healthier and yeah, I think the taste is just a lot better banana flavor is more prominent just everything is you can literally taste every ingredient every spice that is in it so I think they're very good I think these are delicious and I think I'm gonna um keep these in mind if I ever want to make them again I would definitely use that brand over making them homemade because definitely a lot better I mean I can definitely look up recipe you know that to use those same ingredients but at the end of the day, like, a lot of organic, um, organic products and stuff like that are expensive, so it might just be easier just to buy the box, 
rather than buying each ingredient. So I don't really know, like I've never used arrowroot before, but I have had a lot of recipes that do call for it. Um, but things get pretty pricey once you start like adding all these organic, healthier um, ingredients together. So at that point, it's just easier. Excuse me, like I'm like starting to get the hiccups again. I can feel it. Um, might just be easier to buy the box. Yeah, I can definitely feel my hiccups coming back. It's like stuck in my chest. <laughs> better ingredients, better muffins. <laughs> That's <laughs> Papa John's. <laughs> um, I do have an apron, but it is in PA. So I next time I go there, I gotta grab it and bring it back here. Um, but thank you guys, everybody, for hanging out. Um, but I'm gonna end it here. That is true, Brittany. Maybe I'll get another one here. I'm at, maybe at some point. Um, because we did just get a lot of new things. Um, like these jars and other jars. And I got some bowls and stuff like that for the, for the streams and stuff. So maybe, maybe eventually I will pull the trigger and buy an apron. But I hope everybody has a great night and a great week. I don't know when I'm going to be live again. Um, probably the end of this week. Maybe like a Thursday, Friday time frame. I don't know. Um, I haven't really looked at my calendar or anything. But definitely I'm shooting for before next weekend. So I'm shooting for Thursday or Friday. So I hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you all soon. Bye, guys. Have a good night.